it is day zero of Anime Expo. I am so, so excited because I've been waiting for this since last Anime Expo. We're here in Artist Alley, so we're here to set up. It is 8.20 in the morning. So just a little bit of information. They changed up Artist Alley load-in info this year. What they did is instead of everyone coming in from like 12 to 8, they basically sectioned this off based on sections and like where you're located in Artist Alley. So for us, we're in the Mahoko, I don't know. But we're in that section, like the purple section in the back. And technically we're supposed to load in from 5 to 9 p.m. The front section is from 8 to 12, and then the center section is from 12 to 4. However, I can't come in later that day because um, one of my friends has work later today. And so I did have to email them if I could set up at an earlier time. They approved it, thank goodness. Um, so that's why we're here, super early. The, our location is basically all the way at the end. That's towards the front of the aisle and it's we're all the way in the back however i will say that we are at an end so at least like there's free space here so if there are lines and i do anticipate that there will be a few lines they can just line up here so it won't be too bad and we finally wrapped everything up i think this took us about three hours just to set up but we will see y'all for day one tomorrow It is 8.46 in the morning. We got here about an hour ago. It's kind of annoying because we there was only one entrance in the South Hall parking lot. Usually there's an entrance on like each level. However, they made us all go on the first level and it took about an hour just to get through the exhibitor line because there's only one security checkpoint. And then I think by the time we got here, it was already like 7.40 something or almost eight. So I have breath. I'm just tired and the day hasn't even started. Technically the con does start at 10, however they do want us to be show ready by 9 because I'm assuming that there's a ton of people outside already. There are already people lined up, which is crazy. And just for fire marshal, they do want them to start coming in at an earlier time. So, gotta get everything ready an hour in advance. I'll show you the table. Oh my gosh, I am I'm just so tired. We are in a corner, so this is like our end of the corner, kind of blocking that off a little bit. But I will show you the front of the table and it looks so cute. Look at that. So this is the front of the table. This is for a six by two foot table. Per usual, I did cut the sign up and then display the table number because you do have to have your sign up at this event. Before, I would have it up here, but I didn't like how it was covering my table runner. So it's like that. Stickers are displayed this way, kind of like in the past. Phone grips are up here, had all the Eda bags displayed up top, so they're eye-catching. I have pins. Before, I would usually have four rigid boards, but this time I have a fifth one. So they're displayed up here. And I did want to include my product catalog in case there are lines or people just want to see through them. So I did put it in a little basket, but I think it would be better if this was a deeper basket. However, I'm just gonna work with what I have. Lanyards are here. Hopefully the Spy Family ones do get attention. I don't know, we'll see. Magnets are up here and I think it's better that it's attached rather than leaning like in the past so it's less likely to fall. Again, my Snorlax business card holder broke, so I am using this Totoro one that I used to use for my air plants, and now it's for business cards. And I do have a small number of notebooks, so they're here if they would like to see them. Attached a basket with a grid, and then my Venmo. And I do have the corduroy bags. They arrived a few days ago, so they are available for AX. And then I did include pins on every single one of my Eda bags. I have noticed that usually the bags that do have pins tend to do a little bit better. So also just to make it more eye-catching, I did put pins on every single Eda bag, as you can see here. And I think it just looks a lot better rather than when it's completely plain. So then they can imagine, yeah, it is for pins. And then I have my keychains here, and then I did have my air purifier here, so it can hit me right there. And that is the entire display. So it's 9.38 now, and they just announced that they'll be opening the hall at 9.45. Um, I'm assuming it's just because there's just so many people. Like, there's already, like, a large crowd outside, as you can see, and we'll see. <laughs> I'm so scared. I love the earrings. That's so funny. Do you have the I do. Yes. I have all of the colors. Yeah. yeah.
Wow, we are nearly empty on Eda bags and we have to put more. Wow. <laughs> we are closed up for today and I will bring up the numbers tomorrow. Good morning, it is day two and seven, it was. <laughs> Good morning, it is day two of Anime Expo and it is 7.38 in the morning. We got here maybe like 10 minutes ago. I would say that I haven't tried going in through the loading dock, which is what we used to, or where we would use to, where we used to enter every morning last year. Um, I heard that it's faster going that way, but I know it is a little bit of a walk, so we've been entering through the South Hall parking lot. However, it is a bit of like a wait, maybe like 10, 20 minutes. But I will say that if you do come in and you want to park in the parking lot that is adjacent to Kensha Hall, which is where Artist Alley is, definitely go to South Hall Parking. However, you do have to get here before 7 in the morning if you do want parking. Since it does fill up pretty quickly, I know yesterday it was day one and it was a Saturday, so it pretty much got filled by like 7, 10 in the morning. I do have a few notes on yesterday. To be honest, I wasn't here most of the day, which I apologize. I heard it was really packed. I know even in the morning, I was working like the first two, three hours or so. It did slowly trickle in, but I'm assuming that it didn't like get that rush because most people were stuck outside and it, I heard it was like super packed. Even me like walking around like during my little break, like I, there were parts where like I just could not move at all and it was on, honestly like really terrifying because I was afraid I was gonna get like stampeded or something. Actually when I counted the numbers, I pretty much made, I think, I, I didn't really get to compare it, but just from what I remember, I think I made double from last Saturday and I feel like there's like a variety of factors. One of them is that I just have a lot more bigger ticket items before I only had like the Eda bags and there were a lot of them. However, I didn't have a lot of the Eda bags. I think I was just like really stressed out at the time. So I only had like a few standard Eda bags and then a few B grade bags. But this year I actually prepared in advance and I have only standard grade bags of each color and I had a good amount of like the black and the green bags which are the most popular ones. I also debuted the heart bags and wallets and I didn't have a shop update for them prior because last year I did have a shop update for the Eda bags. I feel like most people bought it then versus purchasing it at AX. So this time, if they do have the opportunity, they did buy it yesterday instead of a shop update, which I'll probably launch in like July or so. It's already July actually. I also have the keychains. So with the keychains, that's another opportunity for bigger ticket items. And I also just have a lot more pins in general compared to last year. I think last year I had three pin boards full of pins. This year I have four pin boards full of pins and then one row of the fifth pin board. So I feel like that also incentivizes people to purchase the three for 40 deal. And I'm also in a stamp rally. <laughs> so that one really, as I've mentioned in past vlogs and how stamp rallies are very beneficial for selling at Artist Alley because especially since um, one of the artists is towards the front, more often than not, they will purchase from her first. And then because if they want to participate in a stamp rally, they know which tables to go to. So more likely than not, they're going to hit our table. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry. So we're actually out of stamp cards, um, but I know we have to get some more later today. However, usually with those stamp rallies, you want to incentivize like, oh, you'll get a free freebie. Um, I think the cheaper option is to have separate stickers and then just put it in a little goodie bag. Or for us, we did have the sticker sheet um, and it has each character um, with like who we chose for uh, the stamp rally. But I know for other ones, they were actually a little bit more extra, which I kind of want to do in the future. Like some people had an exclusive enamel pin or an exclusive keychain. And they were like really cute keychains. Oh, apparently we had a line. I was not here, unfortunately, um, to experience it. But I will say that it's good that we had a corner spot like in the back because I think if we had a corner spot, even in the front or like towards the center, we it, it would be harder to have like a line forming. And I think that's, I'm gonna assume, <laughs> it's like maybe I'm being a little too self-confident, but I'm gonna assume that I was placed in this area because I did add in my notes um, for location, like, oh, can I get the corner spot? Because I know we had a crowd last year and we might have a line this year, so it'll probably be better for like line management. 
and we did have a line like sneaking from the front until like I think security came in I think around two or so and they told us that like we had to manage the line because it was like wrapping up to here or like we had to have them wrap up to here but also like how do we do that um, so we're gonna I don't know if it's gonna be that busy today but we'll see yeah it was really good yesterday it was like really busy very packed and I also got to see the Japanese voice actor for Lloyd in Spy Family, like Takuya Eguchi, so very iconic, very cool. What I like about our spot is that because we are on the corner and there's kind of like a little offset, there's no one behind us. So technically we're not supposed to, but we did close off this part of our spot. So usually like you can go through like both sides, however, because there's more space here like it would make more sense for people to enter this way rather than like cut through here when there's like no one here so then this can just be the designated entrance exit point and then we can just cut this off so then no one goes through here <laughs> so it's a little bit later in the day it is 12.05 and the event started around 10. I feel like it, it is busy today, of course it is Sunday, but I feel like it was busier yesterday. The Haikyuu sticker with the black, okay, the or sorry, one. whatever Dark color green. it is, <laughs> um, with the green one. one. <laughs> um, but I mean it's been busy, like you can tell like there's just like a lot of people but, around, but for the most part I'm taking a little break while Sam is working for me. Um, yeah. So because I am running out of backing cards for some of these pins, I do have a few of them, so I just put them in there so they, so I know like which ones still have pins. And I've been removing like some of the more unpopular pins and then just leaving out these backing cards so I can repurpose them for the other pins because I do not want to just give the pin out without them and I won't be able to get some more until tomorrow. Basically, I feel like it's a lot less busy today. Um, I know yesterday there were times where it was just like over and over there were a lot of people but now there's like some breaks in between so it wasn't as hectic. However, I will say that, I mean, this is Anime Expo so you can kind of tell that you know there's a lot of people and I feel like a lot of, not a lot and not everyone, but there are good Basically what I was saying, I feel like because ever since coming out of the pandemic, a lot of people just don't really know how to behave in certain settings. Like, there are a few times where some people, like we had to put this little block and I want to put more um, like grids just to kind of extend that. And I initially was going to, but then typically you're not supposed to have stuff sticking out of behind your table. But I might have to do that because there are a few people who are like trying to be handsy by like touching the merch. <laughs> and it's just like really like why are you touching the merchandise from behind the table? And I feel like it's common sense not to do that. But overall it's been like pretty steady. Um, it's not like overwhelming, but compared to yesterday it's it's just steady. Um, there's like still a good amount of people and like this is the inside of the artist alley thing, so pretty good. Also I did make a few changes to the stickers, so because AX is so busy and there are times where I am going to be leaving the table in order to make this easier for my friends when they're working it, um, especially if some of them haven't watched a specific anime, I did label them. So initially I used to cut these out like individually, but then I realized why not just, like if you already know like where the stickers are going to go, why not just group them together and then cut them together, so yeah. You can tell how hot it was and how humid it was because look at my hair right now, it's like purzing. <laughs> are you hot? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, on, the job, that um, <laughs> on the job, so it's, it died down around like 4 o'clock, so like basically like the last couple of hours it just slowed down. <laughs> there were like a few lulls um, and there were some lines, however it just wasn't as packed as when earlier in the day. So I feel like the most busy time is usually around lunchtime and it tends to pick up around 12 until like 2 to 3 and after 
after that it just slows down considerably. For some reason I thought Artist Alley ends at 7, but it actually ends at 6. It also ends at 6 tomorrow, and then on Monday, Tuesday, it ends at 3. I know for next year they finally confirmed that the dates will be July 4th through 7th. If you're not familiar, AX always tries to... Uh, sticker, uh, Lucky Cat sticker, Umbreon sticker, and Luffy Pit. Luffy Pit. sticker, Umbreon sticker. Luffy. Who was that thing though? Koi Fish, Umbreon? They confirmed next year's AX dates to July 4th or 7th. So for Anime Expo, they try to put one of their dates around July 4th. So that's why next year is July 4th or 7th. This year it was July 1 through 4. Last year I think it was like June. Wait, did they even? <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> let's just say it's around 4th of July every single time. I'm just, I'm just tired. I have to go to 626 later today and like have to clean everything up so I probably won't even go to bed until like 1 in the morning which is so fun but we're, we're dealing with it. Day 2 is over! Yay! 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 Good morning, it is day 3 of Anime Expo. I was like, Fanime? It is 7.29 in the morning, we got here at 7. Because it is day three and it's a Monday, and because it's that weird gap between the weekend and 4th of July, I feel like it's going to be pretty slow today compared to tomorrow and the past couple days, of course. Because um, I feel like some people have work for some reason. Not for some reason, that's how the economy goes. But <laughs> <laughs> because people have work today, there's going to be less attendees, I'm assuming. Because even when we came in at like right before seven, there was a lot of, or there were a lot of parking spots on the first floor and typically it's full by then. And usually there's a line wrapping around South Hall parking and there were only like maybe a good 30 people, which is like not a lot. At least that's also why I cosplay today. So I'm dressed as Chopper, it's a hat. I'll wear that later. What are you embarrassed? No, it just takes up most of the frame. I was also just thinking, well, which day is going to be the least busy? And tomorrow we're going to be taking down things and I don't want to be dressed as Chopper <laughs> taking down my display. So some notes on yesterday. I feel like it wasn't as busy compared to Saturday. And my thinking is that it's because most of the people who do follow me knew to come by on day one if they wanted to get a bag just because they weren't guaranteed. I did actually like prepare a lot of bags so I wouldn't run out so we still have all of them I think except for maybe blue oh yeah maybe I think we're running low on white I don't even maybe we're out of white oh no we have like one or two <laughs> numbers wise I'm pretty much going to break my record from last AX probably within the next couple hours of today assuming it's around the same trajectory which is like really good um I feel like the same points that I mentioned before I think it's because I just have a lot more items. I think before I only had like three pin boards full of pins. Now I have like four full pin boards and then like one row of the fifth pin board. And then there's just like a lot more Eda bags. Of course, like with bigger ticket items, you're gonna make more. Same thing with keychains. I have a lot of large keychains. So those also contributed to that. I'm also part of a one piece stamp rally. So basically, customers from those tables will most likely come to my table if they want to fulfill that stamp rally and get the sticker sheet. I also feel like my placement is actually good because if you notice with an artist alley, it gets really, really packed and it's not a bad spot to be towards the front. If anything, it's good because you get exposure. However, I've noticed that especially if you do tend to get crowds around your booth, it's kind of difficult for there to form a, or for people to form a line just because there's just no space at all. And even some people who might be interested in your booth, let's say they don't follow you on social media, but they're curious about what you sell. Some of them are a little bit reluctant to stop and look at your stuff because if they stop there, it's gonna be hard to get back into the flow of traffic and of people walking through. So I feel like they're more reluctant to stop by unless there's something that really catches their eye. However, for me, 
again, it helps that I do have a ball and when there is a crowd around my booth, it's not necessarily impeding the flow of traffic so much. So you can actually stop on the corner and look at my stuff without stressing about whether you'll be able to go back into flow of attendees. And that's also why I put a few catalogs in the corner just so if people can't see, because my items are pretty small like the pins, they can see what designs I have just by looking through the catalog that I have in that corner. Also for people who did come by the table, I'm sorry if I wasn't here. I'm like running around trying to say hi to people and just trying to see the exhibit hall and everything. But thank you so much for those of you who stopped by, especially when you gave me snacks uh, and free things. It's like, you know I like Jujutsu Kaisen and I do like snacks and food. So thank you for feeding me. And I appreciate every one of you who stopped by. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so this is the space behind the tables. I feel like this is a decent amount of space. I know before when we were in section A, I feel like you're a little bit, because there's a wall. What is it? You're a little bit like stuck because <laughs> there's a wall behind you. But here there's like a good amount of space. And because we are on a corner, we get like, even more space. Yeah, even more space. So, I mean, it's not open like all the way up here, but even when it's partially open, we still have a good amount of space behind that if there's like a decent amount of space here it's not too bad so like they can still walk through and i feel like no one's said anything i mean obviously we don't take up this much space but we take up like up to there pretty much this chopper hat keeps falling off but it is the end of day three uh it i feel like today wasn't as busy as the past couple days and i think it's because most people have work so even like parking wise there was parking and I'm just I'm just really tired like I'm on I'm running off of like four hours of sleep because I was at 626 night market last night all right well day three is done good morning it is the last day of anime expo and I'm so so sad I feel like it went by so quickly this year and we're just walking around. I think it's like seven something. So looking back at the numbers, I would have to say that Saturday obviously like was my best out of all the days and typically Saturday is usually the busiest, but also it is day one and I feel like a lot of people anticipated getting the bags because they weren't sure if it was gonna be sold out. And then Sunday and Monday are very close to Saturday, surprisingly. Usually there's like a few thousand in a difference between each day, however, Sunday and or no yeah Sunday and Monday were like a hundred dollars apart and I expected yesterday to be a lot less busy just because some people were at work there were a few more lulls in yesterday versus Sunday but I guess some people kind of thought about it and maybe if they're not coming in today they purchased yesterday also I have to say thank you for everyone who stopped by my table I apologize if I wasn't here I feel like most people said that or like my friend said that some people were asking when I wasn't here. And most of the time I'm just wandering around exhibit hall. Um, and a few people did, I did meet a few people in exhibit hall who didn't get to meet me here. So thank you for saying hi. I appreciate you all. Anime Expo is definitely one of my favorite events. I mean, you don't have to hear it from me, uh, but obviously if you do get an opportunity to vend an AX, definitely take it. So there's three different ways of vending at AX. You can be an artist alley, the annex, or the exhibitor hall. They're all relatively difficult to get in, especially now. How I got into AX last year was that it was first come first serve with a very limited number of leftover tables from tables that rolled over from 2020. So because I was not necessarily a veteran, but I was a returning artist, it was first come first serve for all of us returning artists for this year. However, for a new artist who haven't vended at AX, they had to go in through a jury system and a lot of my artist friends didn't get in. I think only a very small amount of artists did go through the jury system. I'm not sure what percentage of artists right now are from juried or returning artists. I believe the tables are $550 and it comes with one badge, a six by two table and two chairs. If you want to purchase additional badges for your helpers, you can only purchase two additional badges and I think they're about $100 each. The second way to get into AX as a vendor is through the Annex and I believe it's a 10 by 10 space. I think I have a friend who's working there and he said it was about $1,100. Comes with two tables. I think it's a hit or miss because the Annex is relatively new. It just 
popped up like last year so this is the second year that they've had it it tends to be kind of on and off i have seen some parts of the annex that are busier but i think that's more so towards the front and the center of the annex however as you go deeper into the annex towards the wall area i feel like there's not a lot of traffic there and i think ax just needs to develop the annex a little bit more because i feel like some people just don't know what that is or what that area is for it's also pretty cool because i believe you can even get like an anime tattoo over there there were some people getting tattoos and then for the third way to get into ax is as a vendor i'm not super sure about how to get an exhibitor spot however i do have a few friends who are exhibiting there it's like a couple thousand dollars i believe and I'm sure it's more if you want like a corner spot versus not a corner spot. <laughs> it's like a 10 by 10 space and you can buy multiple booths. I'm still a little iffy because at least for me and like my work, I feel like I would get better traffic if I were here in Artist Alley versus upstairs in like the exhibitor hall. So I'm a little bit reluctant. However, I am running into the issue that I'm running out of a lot of space. I feel like I'm outgrowing the six foot space and sometimes like I just don't have enough space for all of my stuff so that's why I'm kind of like okay do I need to downsize my table or not downsize my table do I need to downsize my merchandise discontinue like a few products or like just not bring every single item for AX or do I go to the annex but then I'm also worried because I feel like there's not a lot of traffic there but I am really grateful because I feel like a lot of the people who have been purchasing for me lately were from social media and from YouTube so I'm not too afraid in that aspect but I'm also kind of skeptical and I'm scared but <laughs> it, it's fine I think honestly like I would just be happy to be in AX and I feel like I'd be okay I'm not too afraid but I'm scared <laughs> But those are the three ways to get into Anime Expo. Relatively difficult because I feel like everyone wants to get into AX, but if you are lucky, definitely do it. Another thing I've been doing for the sold out sign, so instead of, or besides putting sold out on the stickers in front of the rigid bin, rigid bins? <laughs> the rigid boards out there, I also put it on the catalog. I would just cover up the design so they know, oh, like that design is sold out. That one's not available, not available, not available. However, luckily I was, because I am local to this con, I can restock every day. So I think, yeah, we're out of this one. But then it's also just a lot more work because if you have multiple catalogs, you do have to cover every single one of them. So this is kind of a thing that I feel like a lot of people have started doing, which I think is a really great idea. And I learned about it from my friend Jiyoon who's doing it. You can see her Instagram right here definitely follow her if you like some of my stuff you'll love her stuff and so she's been passing around a notebook where it's kind of like writing like the have a great summer like thing for a yearbook and so at every event she would ask artists like that she met or like that she's befriended to like write in her notebook and it's like oh um it's kind of like a cute keepsake memory kind of thing so i started doing that starting with ax and what I like to do, you would like include like a sticker with their logo or with their branding and then they would write inside. So I've been using this dotted notebook that I recently released. This one actually just sold out and we sold the display. I think it's like a really good idea and I've had like a few friends write in it so far. Right now I'm kind of prioritizing people that I feel like I might not see within the next few months just because it's like oh, if i if i don't get one from me i'll probably see you in like a few weeks but it's just so nice and it's kind of cute just like reading through the messages and it's like oh yeah like i met this person and then like you get to see like all the artists that you met from the past events so starting out with ax definitely a really good idea to start doing that just to double check, so this filler pin set and this magnet. Yep. Perfect. All right, so for the magnet and the filler pin set with tax, this is your total. And then you can tap whenever you're ready. They'll ask you a few questions on the screen. And you're all set. I'm um, just to let you know, um, this pin does glow in the dark when exposed to UV light. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. They literally. Oh my God. People are so. Thank you. Oh, sh okay. Well, 
they just opened it because I mean they did tell us like oh you need to be ready by nine and we might open and they were like oh we might open in like 15 minutes and it's like actually we're gonna open so I'm finally meeting Lynn oh not finally like I've met her before so it's like I have my own script in my head <laughs> Hello. and then I got her little squishy plushy because it's so cute definitely visit her next time you see her <laughs> Hi. to hit and we actually hit it and more at this point so I really appreciate your support thank you so much um, and also thank you to everyone who stopped by in the past few days um, to say hi and that you watch the YouTube vlogs or like you follow me on social media I really appreciate you I'm at a loss for words because I am kind of like dead inside right now but thank you again I really appreciate you all and I've been met with nothing but kindness thank you for the food and the snacks and everything that y'all have given me i don't deserve it but thank you so much and i'm really glad that you're enjoying the rsli vlogs and everything um, and i hope to continue to do that so this is a system that we worked out so behind the person doing <laughs> why are you laughing at me i am doing my job no because this is like not <laughs> is this a functional system <laughs> but this is what, what works for me so <laughs> So whoever's in front, they're doing transactions and whatever. There's someone behind whoever's working that, and they are the ones assembling all the pins. Technically, I don't think this is allowed, but this is what works and no one said anything, so I think we're good. I think there's like, there's a lot of pins. So I stacked it on top of a stool, as you, like my step stool. I have another um, twist stool that I've mentioned before, have the sticker and the pins on there. And then we're using the second chair to house the phone grips. And I have my utility stuff, tape, all of that, extra pins down there. I have my little foam thing for when we need to put pins on backing cards. And then my box of backing cards. Um, and then the trash can's over there. So I feel like that's what kind of works for us right now. And then all of the stuff is just down there. So kind of like an assembly line of sorts. So it is three minutes until Artist Alley closes and I feel like a lot of people right now are either scurrying around to buy whatever they want to get or they're leaving, but mostly scurrying around. How do y'all feel? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so excited to be here. I wish oh. there was five more days of anime expo. I wish I could be here forever. <laughs> and it ended at three and we're done like look how much stuff that Superstar. is 
superstars. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by if you're from YouTube, social media, everything, or we just met. <laughs> you can watch this playlist for all of my artist alley vlogs and I will see y'all in the next video.